This is a snail, but, here is a nudibranch slug. Nudibranchs are like snails and slugs and they belong to a group called Gastropoda. Both animals leave a slippery gooey substance behind them as they move. The majority of nudibranchs are harmless to humans, despite the unpleasant or toxic taste they can give off to their predators. Most people don't think of slugs as cute, however, nudibranchs are an exception. They have various vibrant colors such as orange, blues and purples. Aquaculturists consider them interesting. Be warned, these animals are not very cuddly. They are very small and try to avoid getting into fights with bigger animals that might eat them. They use tricks to ward off their predators, such as eating the main defense stingers from their prey and use them later. Other nudibranchs can use toxins from the sponges they eat to make themselves taste bad to predators. But even with these tricks, some predators still try to eat them. These nudibranchs can be eaten by sea turtles, parrotfish, sea stars and other nudibranchs. We shouldn't touch them, but we can still admire how beautiful they are. Different types of nudibranchs have different amounts of spiky things on them, which they use to breathe and protect themselves. An interesting fact is, due to their hermaphroditic nature, nudibranchs have both a male and a female genital system. The majority of nudibranchs are harmless to humans, despite the unpleasant or toxic taste they give off to their predators. Some nudibranchs only eat one type of food and won't survive if they don't have it in an aquarium. Sadly, they cling to the corals. If the little creature eats too much of a coral home, the coral will not be able to live anymore. These sea slugs come in all the colors under the sun and they have funny little appendages that just add to their intrigue. Thanks for watching. Come again by hitting the subscribe button below.